guys welcome back to learning with isha today onwards we start talking about ecosystem well the word ecosystem was given by sir arthur g tansley in the year 1935 it originally comes from a greek word called oikos oikos in greek means what home so ecosystem is basically home to the living organisms that are present within the ecosystem how can we define this term well ecosystem is a structural and functional unit of nature it's called a structural unit why let's say there's a forest ecosystem in a forest different trees different plants occupy different levels this is called stratification so there is a defined structure for an ecosystem functional unit why because in an ecosystem each organism plays a definite role Let's say there are plants they have a definite role they are producers they fix the carbon and pass on the food to the higher level to the consumers so it is a structural and functional unit having interactions of organisms among themselves and with their abiotic environment so in short ecosystem is an interaction of the organisms among themselves and with their abiotic environment abiotic environment kya hua jo bhi cheeze jaise ki sunlight temperature soil water these are all the non living or the abiotic components present in the ecosystem so how can we classify the ecosystem now classification of ecosystem first of all is done on the basis of whether it is found in water or on land if the ecosystem is found on land it is called terrestrial ecosystem and if on water in water it is known as aquatic ecosystem an example of terrestrial ecosystem would be forests grasslands and so on aquatic ecosystems would include ponds lakes estuaries etc now the second classification system for ecosystems is based on if they are present in nature naturally if they are present naturally they'll be known as natural ecosystems and if they are made by man they'll be known as man made ecosystems so all the examples that we saw above the forest grassland lakes estuaries they are all natural they are naturally present in nature man made ecosystem ka beautiful example is aquarium so an aquarium or a man made pond represents an ecosystem that we have constructed now in the next part we're going to look at the different processes that help an ecosystem to function ecosystem studies are based on four basic processes starting with productivity productivity means the generation of biomass the creation of matter so who is going to do that of course the autotrophs the organisms that can perform photosynthesis make their own food so they are going to create biomass eventually they are going to be consumed by the consumers so what is happening biomass is being generated also energy is being transferred from the producers to the consumers now what is going to happen is a lot of waste is going to be generated in this process plants are going to die animals are going to die waste material will be generated by them it all needs to be decomposed why because all this waste matter has trapped inside of it a lot of nutrients we wouldn't want to waste that the decomposers are going to break it down into simple absorbable forms the last step is nutrient cycling we are going to look at the different cycles for elements that observe or that take place in nature let's say there's a carbon cycle nitrogen cycle sulfur cycle so all these steps we are going to talk about in detail in the upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like this video thanks for watching